Yes, folks, there is a Nintendo Direct tomorrow, but instead of just making the traditional video I usually make where we're like, hey, there's a Nintendo Direct tomorrow, tune in. Well, let me give you the details on that Direct, but I also want to get into some predictions for you guys. So this is going to be a Nintendo Direct predictions video that I'm super excited to to toss out there. I've got a whole list of stuff to go over. But before we do that, I just want to remind you we are on our road to 150,000 subscribers. So I'd appreciate if you would slap that validation button, subscribe to the channel, and ring a ling that ding a ling to be notified of all future videos. All right. Let's first off tell you the details of this Nintendo Direct. So it's happening on September 14th. This is tomorrow at 9 a.m. Central. It's going to be roughly 40 minutes in length, and it's going to feature games coming out this winter. Now, this winter does go into 2024, and of course, we always know Nintendo tends to feature games outside of that window, but we'll have to wait and see because a lot of people feel like this might be the final major Direct exclusively for the Nintendo Switch. That being said, I do have some predictions, but we before we get into the predictions, we need to go over some stuff because, hey, you know what? There is a certain red bird out there known as Pioro on Twitter, and I think doubting Pioro is a fool's errand. So first, let's go over the stuff that he's already mentioned and we've covered before, because I do expect this stuff to be in the Direct. Maybe Pioro's wrong, I don't know, but he's been right about this stuff with prior directs this year. So let's just get into that. So a Donkey Kong versus Mario game. Now, we don't know if this would be like a remaster or a remake or if it's a brand new one. But that is something that he put out there. He also put out there F-099. Also, that the Princess Peach game is not only going to be here, but it's going to have its title revealed. He even possibly gave us the title potentially Princess Peach Showtime, so that's something to pay attention to. He also said that a DS and Wii game that are related to each other will be coming out, and then he liked a tweet for another code slash Trace Memories. Now, Trace now trace Memories is what it was called here in the West. Uh, it existed on both the DS and Wii, and it does fit the bill. So, yeah, and honestly, from what I've heard, it's a pretty good game. I haven't played it myself, but those that have seem to really enjoy it. Now, Setting aside that, because that's just dealing with what was put out there from trusted leaks, we need to talk about some actual predictions for this Direct. And one of them still sort of comes from a leak, but then it's not a for sure thing. We got to what Jeff Grubb, he stated not too long ago that he thought Metroid Prime 2 Echoes was going to be coming soon to Nintendo Switch. And I'm just going to go ahead and say it's going to be an HD version shadow dropped during this Direct. After all, they have done GameCube slash HD remaster stuff, whatever. They've been dropping them at the last two Directs, right? We got Pikmin 1 and 2 at the Nintendo Direct in June. Those were HD versions. We obviously had Metroid Prime Remaster back in February. So I think they're going to do it again, and I think it's going to be Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Could be wrong because obviously F-099 could possibly be shadow dropped as well. And so I'm just I'm just throwing this out there as I think that this is what's going to happen. Again, these are my predictions, and if you disagree with it, that's okay. Speaking of Metroid, though, I'm just going to throw my big prediction out right now. And some of you guys already know this, but if you don't, buckle up because you're about to get excited, especially if you like Metroid. I think Metroid Prime 4 is going to be revealed gameplay, whatever. We're going to see it. We're going to see like a minute of it, maybe 90 seconds of it. And I predict that it's going to be the closer for this direct. I have a strong feeling that this is actually going to be the swan song triple a game for the Nintendo switch. So yeah, I think they're going to close out with it and, and think that it's a, a really big bang. That's going to be coming out, you know, March or April or June next year. All right, setting that aside, because that does fall a little bit outside of Nintendo's winter schedule, let's get into the other things I expect to be in this Direct and things I'm predicting. And again, I don't know what's in this Direct, but you know what? We got some exciting stuff here. So I think we're going to see the first Switch gameplay reveal for Hogwarts Legacy. If you remember, this game is supposed to release in November, doesn't have a release date, but they haven't moved it and they haven't delayed it. So or haven't delayed it again, I guess I should say. It's already gone through two delays. So I think that they're going to confidently give us a release date and show off actual native gameplay of the game. I'm very curious how Hogwarts Legacy looks on Nintendo Switch. Now, I think we're going to get a bigger look at Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon HD. I don't think we're going to see a lot, but we'll see enough to be a bit more excited about it than we were last time around when the game maybe looked a little 
rough around the edges, I would say, of what they showed. I think there's a reason they showed just very little of it. It wasn't as far along at that time. I think the game has come much further along, and we're going to see a much better look at Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon HD. All right, I do think we're going to get an official gameplay reveal for Mortal Kombat 1 for Nintendo Switch. Obviously, we already know what the game looks like on other platforms. Technically, we know what it looks like on Switch as well because it leaked, but I'm just... Look, okay, that's leaked stuff. They technically didn't officially... So I, yeah, I, I just think we're going to see Mortal Kombat 1 for Nintendo Switch to be reminded that this game is coming out. All right, I think we're also going to get... Speaking of games coming out, there are a pair of HD remasters dropping tomorrow, and they are not Shadow Drops, but I do think they will be in this Direct, and I think we're going to get a reminder that Botan Katos 1 and 2 HD remaster is available now, technically not today, because they release tomorrow, conveniently the same day as the Direct. So I do think that Bot and Kato's 1 and 2 HD remaster, we're going to see a new trailer for those, and they're going to remind you that, hey, you can buy these games right now, and they'll explain like if you can bundle them together, buy them separate, blah, blah, blah. blah. So uh, that's going to be something to look forward to. I'm really, really excited about that one. And honestly, Bot and Kato's 1 in particular, whew, ooh, I love that game. All right, I think we're going to get another look at Sonic Superstars. Not really a big shocker. Comes out, I think, October 17th. So, yeah, I, I just think they're going to continue that marketing train for the upcoming Sonic game. There's going to be more information, I believe, on Detective Pikachu Returns. Again, that's a game coming out. I, I, I just expect to see more of it. Uh, we're going to get a brief look at Super Mario Bros. Wonder. I don't expect to see a ton of... For Super Mario Bros. Wonder, because they did a dedicated direct, but I do think we're going to get something. Maybe a, a 30-second snippet. Maybe it's just in a sizzle reel. I don't know, but Super Mario Bros. Wonder is going to be in this direct. It's just going to happen. I just don't think it's going to be a heavy focus. After all, I think a heavier focus will be the Princess Peach game. So, yeah, because they did a dedicated thing for this already. And the marketing campaign is spinning up for Super Mario Bros. Wonder. So we're bound to see a bunch more about this game over the next month heading into release. All right. There's another Mario game coming out, though, and I have a prediction for it. So, yeah, I think we're going to see more of Super Mario RPG that comes out this November. But I think we're going to also see them announce brand new content for Super Mario RPG. That's right. I am making a prediction for what they're going to show. New content. I don't know what it's going to be, but I'm, oh, I got this feeling that Super Mario RPG, somehow they're going to slip something new in, and they're going to reveal that today. So... Or reveal it today. Reveal it in this direct. So yeah, that's something I'm super excited for. And I think you guys are going to be excited for as well. All right, we're not done though. I think we're going to get another look at Persona 5. Tactica game already looks incredible, but obviously it's not out yet. So I do think that, hey, Atlas and Nintendo have a pretty good relationship. So they're going to show that off. And I think we'll get another look at that Prince of Persia game coming out in uh, January as well. We've already seen some demo gameplay. I think they're just going to continue that marketing campaign. I'm also going to do this, and I'm sorry, I know this might hurt, uh, or maybe it'll excite you. Again, I don't work at Nintendo, I don't know what's happening. I think, oh, man, it's so hard to even say this, it feels like we say it every Direct. I'm predicting that we're finally going to see a release timing for Hollow Knight Silk Song. So we're going to get a Hollow Knight Silk Song trailer, and it's going to have release timing of early 2024. Whew. I know, I know, guys, I know, we've been predicting forever, all of us have, you know, since 2019 when this game's coming out. I'm just throwing it out there. That's one of my indie game predictions for this Direct. They don't usually put a ton of indie games in there. They're usually focusing more on AAA, but they tend to have a couple, and so I think this is going to be something. There'll probably also be a farming sim game of some type because there's so many of them out there, even though I know Fae Farm just came out, so that was the exclusive one. All right, so... So, so, so. We, we have one last thing that I want to throw out there for a prediction. And this is more of a, a want than a no, but there's a smidge of backing. And look, I, I'm, I'm just, they're going to unveil something else. There is something else in this direct that we don't know about. Something. I don't know. A brand new something that hasn't been announced or a new old thing that hasn't been announced, you know, remasters or whatever. So, I want this to end up being a either a Zelda remake or a brand new top-down Zelda game. Now, 
the old R wants. But I have to note that Jeff Grubb did say that something not related to Tears of the Kingdom was going to be, you know, at least announced for Zelda, you know, before the end of the year. And now that before the end of the year doesn't have to be this direct. There's plenty of time left to announce it in tweets and other in other ways, maybe, you know, at the Game Awards. But the point is that something could be here. This could be the Wind Waker or Twilight Princess HD. This could be Oracle remakes. This could be, obviously, a brand new top-down game headed up by Grezzo. I don't know, okay? And I don't know that this is even safe to be putting out there as a prediction, but I'm going to throw that out there as a prediction. There's also a personal want, but if it's not Zelda, then I'm just going to say on a general sense, something brand new beyond Metroid Prime 4, beyond the Peach game, beyond F-099 and Donkey Kong vs. Mario, there's going to be some other big title or something big remaster-wise that isn't those games. So, yeah, Donkey Kong vs. Mario, really neat. F-099, really neat. Princess Peach game, really neat. I just think something besides those and Metroid Prime 4 and Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, like there's going to be some other big remaster or some other bigger title announced, and I don't know what it is. So, I I'm predicting it's going to be something zelda but I, you know, that's probably a fool's errand since we got Tears of the Kingdom this year. But I'm just throwing that out there, and I don't think it's releasing until next year, anyways, right? So even if it's like, oh, they announced Wind Waker HD or Wind Waker HD Deluxe Edition or whatever they want to call it, okay, yeah, but it won't come out until next year, right? It'd be you know sometime in the first few months, a handful of months next year for Twilight Princess HD, a handful of months next year, a top down Zelda again. I think early next year. I don't think it's still going to be in the same you know year as tears of the kingdom anyways i'm just throwing this out there these are my predictions of course now is where i sort of toss the floor to you because now it's time for you guys to get your absolute final edition predictions for this nintendo direct down in the comments get the hype train ready uh, we do have a podcast happening later today however we will not be doing predictions for the direct because we actually did those in the last episode of the podcast if you want to go check that out and you know see what the podcast crew thought about what was going to happen in this particular direct but we do have a very interesting podcast tonight we're going to be diving deep into all the nintendo switch 2 stuff we'll be diving deep into something like the zelda movie rumor so we got a lot to talk about anyways as we try to make an evergreen episode and then tomorrow night we'll have our typical thursday night live stream and on that live stream you guys know we will be reacting uh and and to the aftermath of that nintendo direct and guys come on you know we're live streaming the direct tomorrow right 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 i'll see you guys live tonight on the podcast also later today with a prime news episode and i'll see you tomorrow morning Bright and early. Bright and freaking early. I probably had about 8 a.m. my time. So we can get hyped for this direct together. Thank you guys for tuning in. And I'll catch you in the next video.